what is going on guys? My name is Rudokrite and welcome to a game called Don't Open Your Eyes. So I found this game on itch.io and it's kind of supposed to make you feel like you are stuck in bed and you can't move other than your open your eyes. Um, I know there's like a there's a word for it. I, I don't know. I think it's sleep paralysis or something like that. Um, but this is how the game is supposed to make you feel. It's kind of like a, a visual novel kind of and you kind of create your own story I guess. But other than that, I don't know about it. You guys have been loving the indie games so far. I've been loving them, so I want to keep playing more of these. They're really interesting, and you know what? They're free to play, so even you guys can go play at home if you guys want to. Oh, wow, the eye opens when you hit start. Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, I hate that. Oh, who would sleep with the door open? Oh, you psychopath. <laughs> I'm thinking. It's getting late. My eyelids have begun to feel heavy. I better go to sleep. Oh god. I leave aside the book I've been reading and look out my window. The process of falling asleep is always a struggle against noise. Barking dogs, police sirens, or even my own intrusive thoughts. But not even the turning gears of my brain are, pro are producing much sound. Tonight is just oddly quiet. Quiet. Ooh, God, okay. Too quiet. Oh, God. I feel restless. My sight veers towards the hallway outside my door. Well, why didn't you close it? The distance between my room and the opposite wall is only ten steps along. I know since I've been... I've made a habit of counting them whenever I go out. One, two, three. Abs... Absent-mindedly, but always. I don't know why. Maybe I just like being aware of my surroundings to the smallest detail. But tonight is different. The hallway looks like it's stretched into nothingness. Like the throat of... Gargantuan beasts? <laughs> Logical thinking cries that it's just my imagination. There can't be anything wrong or different about it. It's just a hallway. But... But what? I don't want to look at it. Well, then close your fucking door, dude. So I take a deep breath and close my eyes. God. Okay, I hate that. You should have closed your door. Because you know demons. In my room. Oh, God. I? What? There's a bed. In my room. Is that a closet? There's a wardrobe. In my room. There's pictures framed on the wall. Oh god. My room is a part of myself. It's a world I know like the back of my hand. Where someone to blindfold me and ask me to find my way around, I do so without the slightest difficulty. As long as, as nothing changes, have my eyes closed, make no difference. In this room, I can, I can always find what I want to find. Because in this room, I know how everything looks. Okay. I need to wake up early tomorrow. I should really try to sleep. Oh, God. Hi? Oh. Oh, someone's in my room. Someone, what is, what is in my room? What is that sound? Are those footsteps? You should fucking close your door. What did I say? Not that's impossible. It must be my imagination. But it's getting closer. And closer. And closer. And closer. They're gone. Right. There's no way someone could be there. Oh my fuck you. Hi. Hi. Open your eyes. Dude, I, I don't want to. Um, no, fuck that. <laughs> I don't want to open. Open your eyes. No. No, I don't. I would rather Fuck. keep you away from my eyes. Me. I don't want to. I do my best to ignore the voice. Why won't you look at me? Because you're a creepy man in my room, man. Are your manners? Uh, my manners? If a stranger asks for help, is it right to ignore them? I mean, no, but you are not asking for help. 
I can feel someone breathing over my ear. Oh god. It's cold. I will share a secret with you. A secret? I have never seen myself before. Oh. I don't know if my face is ugly. Okay. I'm sure it's not. I don't know the color of my skin. I mean, okay. I don't know if I'm even here. Oh good. This is definitely that my is imagination. Why I need you to open your eyes. But what what <laughs> so you can tell me how I look. Oh, I hate this. I'm also shy. Okay. So I might hide the moment you do. Oh. You won't find me anywhere. And soon you will forget. Like a okay. dream. I know you're not asleep. You listen with those tiny ears of yours. <laughs> no. They look so fragile. Oh god. Like I could almost grab them. Don't you dare touch my luscious ears, man. I feel something <laughs> carries my ear. Put my around oh. them. God. Ooh. And tear them off. Okay, well that turned dark. If I do, will you scream? I'm sure I would. I hear your voice. Uh, probably. Probably get my foot up by your, by your ass, it man. It was a joke. It was a joke. I'm joking. You're a funny man. Don't be scared. I'm very scared. <laughs> hey. Well, this is interesting. I. You think my eyes look probably very scary. Cases finally meet. What will you find? Um. Answer me. Probably something scary. Oh. They look broken. They look empty, or they look lost. Oh, okay. Oh, this is interesting. I get to pick. And, uh, so he's never seen himself, right? So they must look empty. If he's never seen himself, I think they look they empty. Look empty. Yes. Oh, no! They kind of look like oranges. That may be so. <laughs> oh. The eyes are the window to the soul. And your soul is very, very That's scary. What someone told me. Long ago, they said that the soul was holy, bright, beautiful. Every person has one, both the good and the evil. But that person said I was the exception. Oh. That something like me couldn't possibly own something so holy. So you're so evil. Bright, so beautiful. They looked inside of me, took a deep breath, Ooh. and announced their conclusion with great fatigue. Their eyes, eyes that could see it all. So why would I want to look at you? Couldn't find anything in there. I'm sure that if you were to cut me apart, oh, not even blood would flow out. So you're not living. Even if I felt it sometimes, crawling through my veins. Oh God. Maybe that's why I've never seen myself before. Because I'm empty. You are empty. But isn't that something to be grateful for? I mean, I mean, no. Because if I were to look and find nothing there, then surely I would feel disappointed. By not looking, I can ease myself of that pain. So maybe this is for the best. I can't remember who was the first to recite these words to me. Oh God. Nor the second, nor the third, nor the several others who came after. Oh good. The only thing I remember said they looked as empty as I did to them. Oh. Hey. Did I choose right? Have you ever felt so empty? So devoid of what makes everyone special? Everyone's different. Have you embraced the void as your own? Have you? I don't... I remain silent. These eyes... Are these... Oh. My eyes? No. Oh. Is that so? Oh good, they and went away. Perfect. How do you think my eyes look? look? When our gazes finally meet, what will you find? Answer me. Do I get to pick another one? Oh, I can. They look broken. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe he's lost. Okay, they we can pick lost. Lost. Oh. 
I think that 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 fits him. That may be so. I am never sure of where I am. My days consist of wandering about aimlessly. And you wandered for. into my room. I worry that if I'm not paying attention, what I'm searching for will slip away. But usually when you look for something, you end up finding it when you're not the looking for it. terrifies me. It terrifies me so much. You know what terrifies me? That a creepy thing is in my room, like, uh, next to me, touching my ears. So I always keep my eyes peeled. Well, like, the, like an orange. Even if there's nothing to see, that way, nothing will slip away. This is really cool. No matter where it goes, and no matter where it hides, no matter how terrifying the world might be, no matter the countless terrible things I witnessed by mistake in the process. Okay, I'm getting the chills, no man. No matter what, I will never blink. I will forever be confused by the world around me. I will forever be lost. But what is that something that I'm searching for? Me, you're looking for me. It's been so <laughs> long since my wandering began. I can no longer recall the feelings that drove me to it. What is it? I don't know. Is it something I can hold? I mean, considering you have no hands, maybe is not. It a being of flesh and bones. Oh God. I mean, what are you? Is it nearby? You're kind of look. You're you're like a shadow, man. Is it nearby? Everything's is nearby. You? Oh, it's definitely not me, dude. <laughs> hey, have you ever looked so fervently for something that you end up losing yourself in the process? Yes. Have you? Yeah, 100%. I remain silent. These eyes... Are these... My eyes? No. I wonder if what happens if I click the other Is one. Is that so? Then... How do you think my eyes... Look... When our cases finally meet... Answer me. So, the only one I haven't done is they look broken. Oh, God. That's worse. It may be so. I'm always training my sight to stare at what's in front of me. <laughs> oh, no. Searching for that one precious thing. Oh, I hate it. That's what drives me to look inside places such as this. But sometimes I strain so hard, little pieces seem to fall off my face. Okay. One after another. Hey, you're a little they cracked crack there, buddy. Sound as they go. A sound like. Ooh. This. Is that my is that my bones breaking? Did you just break my bone? I always attempt to piece them back together. I kneel and search for the missing fragments of myself, but they are never there. Maybe the wind takes them somewhere out of my reach. I wonder if these are my late night thoughts. And that. Makes me sad. And I'm just kind of morphing them into a, a being. So sad. I put my hands where my eyes should be. And I borrow my fingers. And I take it out. Oh, God. I take everything out. Oh, good. Oh, God. Oh, God. I hate it. No, I hate it. I hate it. Every little piece that remains. These are definitely I'm his eyes. Furiously. Following in he's, sorrow. He's going into a lot of detail. I pray to whoever's listening to give back what's mine. I will. I will. Do if you leave me alone. Me lose more than I've already lost. Oh God. I don't want to waste my time and search for more than I care for. Yet no one delivers. No one is listening. And so I weep invisible tears. Until I can feel the sorrow no more. Hey. Hi. Have you ever strained yourself so hard to see what you want to see? That you end up blinding yourself to all? Have yes. You? I remain silent. These eyes. Are these my eyes? They sure are, buddy. A good answer. A good answer? Oh, good. Did I get it right? Yeah, there is only one way to know the truth. Oh, God. Oh, open my eyes? Open. Fuck it, right? All right, I'm gonna do it. Oh god. Oh god. They opened my eyes. Oh, I hate it. Oh, he's gone.
There's nothing there. Oh, I, I fucking hate that, dude. Oh, that was it. Oh. Wait. Wait a minute. Can I keep going? What? Wait, what, am I not supposed to open my eyes? Okay, so I'm gonna- I'm not gonna open my eyes. So you won't look at me? No. Even though your eyes are so pretty. How would you know I that? I can't see them, but I can imagine them behind their veil of flesh. Oh god. Round like pearls. Oh good. And shiny like jewels. They are shiny. So, so pretty. No. <sighs> Stop. A breath of cold air caresses my eyelashes. It's fine. We still have time. Time for Light what? Is still and silent. No. Oh God. Dude, I have the goosebumps. I don't know. If, I don't know if you can see that. But oh God. No. People are good at closing their doors. I fucking am sure not. Nope. Do you know what a door is? It's a thing to keep people like you out. Of course you know. Yep. A door is a barrier to keep the bad out. Oh good, and you're the bad. The bad can be anything. A bad person. A bad smell. And sometimes... Me. Yep. I can't open doors. Why not? I find them... Tricky. It's because you have no hands. Should I push? Or pull? Should I turn the knob left? Right. Man, it really doesn't matter sometimes. Should I try to take it off in cinches? That's one way to do it. Should I chip away at it? Hoping it will fall apart. You could do that. What happens? It opens. You enter another room. Do I close it behind me? Yes, because it's proper manners. Do I keep it open? No. But that might be rude to the person who had it closed. But then, how do I get out? The same way you got in. And what happens if the wind pushes it close? What then? So many options. Not really. So many things that could go wrong. Whenever I stand in front of a closed door, it paralyzes me. I stare at it for a long time. Oh, God. And think of my excuses. When I go to bed tonight, I'm just going to think about this thing just standing outside my door. Because that's all they are. What bothers me the most about closed doors is the idea they exist to keep me out. It fills me with the need to go in, so I search for a crevice or a window. Anything that might be open. Anything that might let me in. I'm not good with doors, but as long as there's a place where I can fit, then I can go in anywhere. Oh god, his eyes are just staring into me. Across the shadows of the streets. I'm careful so as to not be caught by the light. In my eternal search, I pick a place where to rest. I slip in and spend the night wherever is comfortable. And you decided Without to see in my room? Anyone. Usually it's a cellar, an attic, anywhere with dust, with dirt. Well, my room is not like that, man. I feel at home there. Oh, good. Well, then go there. But sometimes. Oh, good. Just sometimes. Sometimes what? An urge swells inside of me. Oh, good. The urge to be seen. Okay. So I search hard for a door that's open. And I decided to leave mine open. For and here an you are. For covered in darkness. And for someone to be at the other end. Awake. I am not awake. As if expecting me. But you won't look at me. Even though you had your door open for visitors, why is that? I just forgot to shut it, man. Are you afraid? Kind of. Do I scare you? A little bit. No. That can't be. It, it can be. We have been chatting for so long. You've been chatting. I've been trying to sleep. You haven't chased me out. I would, with a bat. That means. I do not. I'm just too afraid to open my eyes. So I'm certain that if I were to reach out my hand... 
Ooh. Oh god, something moves over my bed sheets. You would reciprocate and grasp it. Uh, no, I would grab grab a bat. I'm sure your hands are warm. Oh god. So very warm. Ooh. Because people are always warm. Yeah, it's kinda need that. Hey. How do my hands look? Oh, do I get to pick my those too? Finally meets yours. How will it feel? Probably very cold and, and uh, crackly Answer or something. Me. Incomplete, deciphal, and tired. Deceitful. They look deceitful. Oh, that is not what I wanted them to look like. That may be so. These hands of mine tend to squirm into places I could never imagine. Oh, I hate it. Be it tiny holes in the walls, Ooh, I housing hate it. arachnids of all sizes, or the pockets of midnight walkers oh. strolling the parks that sometimes serve me as home. These fingers squirm in and drag out what they find. So now I carry all sorts of trinkets with me. Oh, good. Keys. Yep. Peeping gadgets. Oh, good. Notes with love poems in them. Oh, lovely. The corpse of one or two insects. Oh. Eventually eaten away by those who come take their place. Okay. I keep everything with me, regardless of their use. Good, you're a hoarder. But sometimes, I feel bad. Oh. Because maybe it was something important. The person I took them from could be distraught. Probably. Their happiness. Shattered. Man, I just I just miss my, my dead bugs. Their lives ended. So I consider and consider maybe dropping them somewhere in the park. In the park, very specific. But what if I need them? You could just go get them. What if the keys can one day open the door I want? What if the poems help me befriend a new partner? The arachnids serve me as unlikely sustenance. Ew. There are too many ifs. But I'm also too afraid to find out the truth. So I let them stay with me. Slowly becoming a part of me. Oh, good. Helping me grow. I've grown so much. I had to lower my head when entering your room. Oh. So you're These a tall boy. won't stop. Squirming and coiling around everything they feel. Oh, God. And I can only hope they merely take what they need. I would be saddened if my body grew too much because I wouldn't get to enter rooms like yours anymore. Oh, God. Hey. I. Have you ever attempted to help yourself grow by mercilessly taking away from someone else? Have you? I remain silent. These hands. Are these. My hands? Sure, buddy. A good answer. Oh, yeah, it's a very good answer. Yet, there is only one way to know the truth. And that's to open my eyes? Open. Your eyes. No! So you won't look at me. No. Even though my hands. Be the same as yours. They 100% aren't. I can tell you that. Think about it. Maybe you and I are similar. We are not. No. I know we are. Oh, I'm tired. I can feel it in my skin. Oh, good. Ooh. Oh. Oh. What? Oh. Can you hear it? Oh, I can fucking hear that. I don't like it. My skin is pulsating. That's not... No. It has been long since this happened. Oh, good. It's a sign of my innermost emotions flowing out. Good. I wander the world, wanting to be seen. So then just go be seen, man. I'll be satisfied as long as someone tells me how I look. You know, there's these things called mirrors. But it's not like anyone will do. No, especially if you greet them like this. If it did, then it would be oh so easy. Since I could show myself to everyone at once. Every living person in this land. And ask them all the same question. 
someone will answer. There's no doubt about it. But it might not be the answer I wish for, since I don't want to be judged. I don't want to be perceived as something I'm not. It scares me. That is why, when someone is on the verge of looking at me, I shy away. I hide, fading into the dark. But you might be different. If it's you, it might be possible to stand still, if only for a second. That way you can help me. I don't want to. And we can both be fulfilled. Why, what, what do I get out of it? Uh, just thinking about it, it makes me feel... Oh, God. Feel... something. No. I cannot describe it. Well, good. I am not good. With words. You seem to be. There was a person in my past who taught me to speak like a person. They were not good at it either. And thinking back on it, they certainly didn't enjoy it. To teach a wordless being how to talk must be a challenge. Yet, they did. Simply because they could. Okay. It is weird to remember. Because it makes me think of why I want to be seen. And I am not. Sure. I don't care much for my appearance. I don't want to be judged. But if that were it, I could easily stay out of sight. So why is it? Why do I want someone to recognize me so much? I d don't know. It's a question Maybe for you. it's only because I can. Because everyone gets to be recognized, but me. Because you shy away. But I will. Soon. Soon. Good. Once you open your eyes. No. Oh, God, no. Uh, there it is again. No. Are you being erected or something? God damn. Just thinking about the moment you unveil your sight onto me. Uh. And you finally take those bed sheets off your body. Oh god, why do you gotta say it like that? And you inspect every crevice of mine. Oh god, like your ass! Fuck yeah, dude. You finally, finally, <laughs> finally open those tight lips of yours. Oh god. To let me hear what I am. And to maybe even give me a name. Uh, fucking Creepo. God, stop! It makes uh. me feel. Fucking hard? But I don't know what. Surely it would be evident if you were to look at my face. No! Hey. What, man? What does my expression look like? Fucking probably a creepy when smile. The of uncertainty finally disappears. What will we convey to each other? Answer me. It's a cheerful smile. It's a surprised Grimace? Whatever? Emotional stare. Emotionless stare. Okay. Oh god, a cheerful smile, probably. A cheerful smile. Because you're a creep. Oh god. That may be so. It would only make sense for the end of this journey to bring me joy. Right. It has been so, so long. I can no longer remember. Where it all began, but who's to say it had a beginning? Maybe the starting point is that faint memory. The earliest one I can recall. I was walking, and for some reason, it was daytime. Oh, good. I rarely travel during the daytime. Only when the fear of being seen isn't there. So I must have believed. That was the case. But it's strange. Since the place I was walking through was a city. One full of people. I couldn't see them. But I knew they were there. Hiding in the shadows. With their backs against the dirt. Completely motionless. Completely silent. Living in weight of their deaths. And what's more... None dared to look at me. 
I wouldn't if you looked like that. Did they even know I was there? They probably did. They just didn't want to look at you. Maybe they did not care. Usually people don't. All I remember is feeling a certain kinship towards the hidden inhabitants of that settlement. They were like me, living in fear of what others might think. And who's to say I wasn't one of them? Maybe I spent my days as part of the scenery as well. And one day I decided to go for a walk. A walk that hasn't yet found its end. It's my earliest memory. No experience afterwards had made me want to smile more than that. So if you say I am smiling, then surely that's how it must be. But tonight, I'm not joyful. Oh. So if my expression is truly one of cheer, then I must be lying through my smiling teeth. Hey. Hi. Have you ever expressed honest happiness in your face? When in reality, you're feeling anything but. Have you? I remain silent. This expression. Is this. my expression? It, yeah. You see? Thank you. You're welcome. You have truly helped me tonight. You are so welcome. These are my eyes. Oh, good. These are my hands. Yes. And this is my expression. Oh, good. I consider these my most treasured features. Good. And you have helped me picture them all. You are so welcome. No one has done this for me. Well, I'm always here for you, buddy. I feel a connection with you. You know what? Maybe you're not so bad. One born out of honest gratitude. But there's one step left. You oh need God. to make sure of the truth. Okay. It is the only way to finally understand each other. Okay. So please, I beg of you, open your eyes. Oh, God. Do I open my eyes? You know what? Yes, I'm gonna open my eyes. Fuck it, right? I opened my eyes. Oh god. Okay. And he's gone. I hate that. There's nothing there. Oh god. And then I go to sleep. Wow. For a game that is nothing, like, you don't really play, you just kind of read and you listen and you make choices. That was terrifying. Like, I have goosebumps, man. Oh, God. Like, the subtle, like, super quietness and it just fades into nothing. Oh, my God. I hate it. Oh, I, I have the goosebumps, man. I have the goosebumps. But I wonder if you could actually keep going and not open your eyes at the end right there. Um, so if you guys are interested, maybe you guys go play it for yourself. It is free on itch.io. I'll put a I'll put it uh, a link into the description down below for you guys to go check this out. And maybe pick some different choices that I have. Maybe you'll get a different ending or, or a different, you know, dialogue or whatever. But this was really interesting. I actually really liked this kind of concept. It was, it was, I don't know. I, I hated it. It was creepy. Him, like, just, ah, uh, God, I hate it. No, 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 no. But I am going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like down below because it really helps me out a lot. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!